Hi, Assalamualaikum and I am Nur Syirah binti Muhammad Zambri and today I will be presenting about employee well-being and managing change. First, let's talk about employee well-being and managing change. Change drive development and adaptability in today's dynamic workplace. We value our employees' well-being as we navigate technological, commercial and operational changes. Change can be painful but healing. As a result of global pandemic, we must adapt to new ways of living, working and playing. Employee well-being includes physical health, mental resilience, emotional stability and a supportive work environment that fosters growth and productivity. It underpins long-term success affecting moral retention and our adaptability to adapt to a changing world. Next, how employee well-being works in managing change. First is resilience and adaptability. Physical, mental and emotional support makes employees more adaptable to change. They can handle the uncertainty, stress and challenge of restructuring. New technology and responsibility changes better. Next, a priority for well-being leads to increased levels of employee engagement. Engaged employees are more committed to the company's goals and more willing to contribute during change. Appreciation and encouragement will motivate them. Next is retention and talent management. In times of chaos, exceptional people are essential for stability and continuity. Companies that care about their employees and help them adjust are more likely to keep them. For the advantages of employee well-being in managing change, the first one is improved efficiency and effectiveness. Developing a connection with organizational objective ensure that each change brings your firm closer to its vision. Second, risk mitigation means keeping an eye out for possible problems early on to avoid being caught off guard. Strategizing ahead of time ensures that you have a strategy in place to deal with any unexpected challenges. Ensuring that time, money and resources are spent efficiently throughout a change attempt means getting the most impact for your buck. By allocating resources properly, you increase the chances of a smooth change. Meanwhile, there are also disadvantages. Even with the most vital technique in place, some people are just reluctant to change. This resistance might cause tension among team members. New changes may require employees to acquire new skills or knowledge. Employees may feel unprepared or overwhelmed if adequate training and support are not provided, affecting their confidence and job satisfaction. Lastly, proper implementation is necessary for communications to be understood. Miscommunications, if not handled appropriately, may cause uncertainty and even distress. Next, I wanted to share a success story that I found amid a significant organizational restructuring to enhance operational efficiency and adapt to new market dynamics. A global technology company embarked on a journey to prioritize employee well-being as a cornerstone of its change management strategy. Recognizing the potential impact of such transformative changes on their workforce, the company implemented a well-being program. This program included regular wellness workshops on stress management, flexible work arrangements to accommodate personal needs, and dedicated support groups to provide emotional support. The positive effects of the well-being initiative became increasingly evident. Employees reported feeling more supported, which significantly increased moral and engagement level across the organization. Employee retention rates remain stable despite the organizational changes with many attributing their decision to stay to the supportive environment created by the Wellbeing Initiative. Ultimately, the success story of integrating employee wellbeing into change management ensured smoother transitions and positioned the company as a leader in employee-centric practice, driving sustainable growth and fostering a resilient organizational culture for years to come. There are a few suggestions that I would make for the company that I am currently working for, which are to provide seminars or training sessions on stress management, resilience, development, and coping skills that are targeted to the unique changes taking place. Implement flexible work arrangements where possible to meet personal requirements throughout changes. Second, recognize and praise your workers' contributions and fortitude during times of transition. Celebrate milestones and success to promote a healthy work atmosphere. Lastly, continuously assess the efficacy of well-being programs via surveys, focus groups, or other feedback methods. Companies need to adjust programs as required in response to employee feedback and changing organizational demands. In conclusion, prioritizing employee well-being during change is not only compassionate leadership, but also a strategy imperative 
for organizational success. Organizations can improve resilience, moral and productivity during uncertainty by encouraging communication, offering tailored well-being initiative and valuing employee feedback. Investment in employee well-being mitigates change negative effects and create a positive organizational culture that promotes innovation, loyalty and long-term growth. By centering change management on employee, organizations can better navigate transitions and emerge stronger with a motivated, engaged workforce that can drive in dynamic environments. That is all from me. Thank you.